Weidman and Musasi are both the same height, but Weidman will hold a 2 inch reach advantage. Musasi is significantly more experienced with 49 total professional MMA fights compared to Weidman's 15 total fights. And that's crazy considering they're both about the same age. Musasi is 31, Weidman is 32. Musasi has fought such a wide and interesting roster of fighters, including Hector Lombard, Mark Hunt, Gary Goodridge, King Mo, and even Ovin St. Pru. Aside from that, he's faced high level fighters across multiple weight classes. Can I just say it's very annoying to hear and read the same criticism about Musasi being bored when he fights? Sure, he looks like it. He sounds a bit monotone and he has bed hair, but that doesn't mean he's constantly struggling to maintain his focus every second of the fight. He's often very calculated, as well as being the aggressor. Musasi is primarily a striker, has good boxing, with his jab probably being his best weapon. He has excellent precision on his strikes too. The best example of this, in my opinion, was his fight against Alir Latifi. The jab was landing with such frequency and precision, it began to frustrate Latifi, and by the end of the fight, his face was a complete mess, most of it from the jab and the follow-up shots. And if you notice, Musasi stands in that fight. Most of the weight is centered on his lead leg, whereas in his more recent fight against Vitor Belfort, you'll notice his weight is more centered on the rear leg with a lighter lead leg. And this could be for a number of reasons, and it's probably a combination of a lot of them. Tactical game planning, watching for leg kicks, or probably adding kicks to his own overall game. Many of Gegard's earlier fights, he didn't throw many kicks other than the occasional inside leg kick. This might be because Gegard comes from an amateur boxing background, and obviously, that's probably where he's most effective and comfortable. But Gegard is also quite effective and active on the mat as well. Aside from his 22 knockout victories, he also has 12 submission wins. However, his only recent submission came against Mark Munoz in 2014. His next fight was actually a submission loss against Jacare Souza. Probably noteworthy to mention Gegard is also lost to an aggressive wrestler type in King Muhammad Lawal too. Granted that was in 2010, but still, it's worth mentioning. It seems the game plan to defeating Musasi is to neutralize his offense by taking him down and doing damage or controlling him, and that's not an easy task. I most often see two main criticisms for Chris Weidman. First is that he's overrated, which is probably one of the weirder comments I see. Weidman hasn't ever really been a highly rated fighter. He's been favored several times and was a bright prospect. The UFC backed him when he was champion, but he never really earned the respect of the larger fan base. Often he's criticized for only beating fighters past their prime. And that point was proven further when he lost to Luke Rockhold and most recently, Yoel Romero. It's not as if Gegard Musasi can be entirely clear to that criticism though either. The second main criticism is that he's slow, which is a fair assessment, but considering it's the middleweight division, that isn't as much of a factor in my opinion. Of course, I see Gegard's boxing and speed being difficult for Weidman to adjust to if he does at all, but he has a hell of a chin, and unless Musasi lands a flying knee or head kick, or he's able to snipe off his back foot and catch Weidman when he doesn't see it, I really don't see him getting finished by Gegard Musasi. It's no secret Weidman will look to be the aggressor, try to find his range on the feet, look for takedowns. In a recent interview, Musasi details what he believes Weidman will do, saying he's going to come forward, he's going to try to put the pressure on me, work the cardio, do some wrestling, do some striking, but at the end of the day, I'm prepared. I know exactly what he's going to do, so I'm more than prepared. I got my skills, I'm going to show it the 8th of April, I'm very confident, that's all I can say. His assessment is correct, I think, but just because he has a good idea of what Weidman will do doesn't mean he can stop it. Here's what I think. Musasi's game is coming together nicely. I think he's looking much more complete than he ever has in the past. It's taken him a while to get here, but he seems to be ready for a run at the title. Although Weidman has only a 2 inch reach on him, that leverage, combined with his strength, is going to dictate where this fight takes place for the most part. If Gegard can keep Weidman at range, and stuff takedowns or be effective in the scramble, reversing positions, and using submission threats, then Weidman is shit out of luck. Musasi can be a little flinchy at times, and with the right setup can definitely be hit, but Cheetah executed this perfectly with the body and head kicks against Gegard, but unless Weidman shows a substantial improvement in his kickboxing game, I doubt this will be too much of a factor. With Gegard being most comfortable at boxing range, I see that favoring Weidman as he presses forward, looking to close the distance, using his reach, and then eventually try to outgrapple Musasi. Watch for Musasi strikes moving backwards though, he's one of the few fighters who can snipe off his back foot, and if Weidman doesn't see it, 
definitely could be lights out for him. It kind of sucks this fight is only three rounds because if the fight does go the distance, I'd be very interested in seeing how the two extra rounds would go. Gegard may be the more well-conditioned fighter of the two. I wouldn't be surprised if Gegard is a fresher fighter halfway through the second and the third round, but I see it being a close fight. I have a feeling most are going to be picking Musasi. He is favored, but I haven't given up on Weidman just yet. But let me know what you think of this fight, who you're picking down below, give me your assessment of what you're thinking takes place in this fight and your thoughts on both fighters. That does it, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like this video, dislike this video, take it easy.